Alright, alright guys, as I promised, uh, I was going to make a video on how you could play a scratch off tickets more efficiently and how you could possibly win in the long term um, playing the buying scratch or whatever they're called, scratch offs. Um, so, I'm just letting you know right now, okay, uh, I forget what his name is, I think his name is Chris, uh, he made a video saying that um, when he's confident he ends up winning. And when he's not confident, he ends up losing. Um, that's just an analogy you came up with, man. That's that that has no. It does not pertain any uh, actual. There's no actual evidence um, backing it. That's just an analogy that you're using that you came up with in order to define your winnings and losings. Um, like I'm going to use an example. The majority of people win the scratchers. Uh, they're not really confident or cocky or any of the things that you mentioned um, number one they're either super super lucky uh, number two is they buy so many of them all right that they just increase their odds of winning the winning prize uh, number two is obviously not where you want to be because majority of the time you're going to end up losing because uh, the odds on these things are terrible uh, but there are actual people who buy rolls and rolls of scratchers uh, on a monthly basis and they surprisingly eventually win. But the first type, as I mentioned, uh, they just get super, super lucky. They go to the store, they get a scratcher, whether it's a mom and pop shop, it's a gas station, they go to fill up gas, they're like, just give me a scratcher as well. And they scratch it and they win $100,000 or $200,000. Um, that's just luck. There's no other explanation for it, man. Um, I don't. I doubt they were like they were confident or cocky, or I doubt they went in there dressed nice, or they had their lucky uh, ring or watch on, or anything like that. It has nothing to do with any of those things. Um, it just comes down to odds and um, luck and how often you play these things. So, how could you play them more efficiently and be a profitable? scratch off player uh, number one you want to um, you want to um, uh, buy them not so often okay and I'll explain why um, that is and I will explain how these games work and how these scratches work so every other week or every other month they come out with a new game like this one recently came out and this one was a winner, surprisingly. And the new games tend to do well. Uh, why? Because when they do, when they, when they, uh, when people win buying these tickets, they tend to tell their friends, tend to tell their family, and they go out and they buy a bunch of these tickets, right? If I go tell my friend that, look, man, I bought this ten dollars scratcher, ended up winning five hundred bucks. He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna be jealous or pissed. He's gonna go down to the store and grab a couple of these himself. To see that if they actually work, um, that's one of the key advertisements that scratch off companies use. Is that um, they distribute the winning scratchers um, in different counties and different areas in order to maximize their profit. Um, if you just have one county that is winning, like if all the winning scratchers are in one county. Uh, the word is not going to go very far. It's just going to pertain to that one county. So you want to distribute the winners. And the way they do that is uh, they distribute um, uh, a good amount of winners and losers in the packs or rolls that they sell. They sell these, I, I believe, in the roll of 40. I'm not 100% sure. But um, in that roll of 40, there's winners and losers, obviously. And there is um, a good distribution of winners and losers. And um, they distribute that in different counties. So um, you don't have one role that is all winners and one role that is all losers because that is just a turn off for a scratch off player. So that's number one. Um, number two is that when someone wins a scratch off and they go claim the prize, that prize is no longer available or there's less of it available. So you want to buy it early on, you want to play the newer games. Uh, early on because simply there's more prizes available um, that is number two so how do you check these you can go online uh, look at the look at the um, uh, how many winners how many people have claimed prizes and whatnot and you can determine 
<clears throat> um, which ones to buy. And the higher de denomination ones, the ones that cost more, uh, they have higher higher chances of winning and higher probability and they have bigger prizes simply because they have more uh, funding available um, to them. The $10 one obviously has more funding available than the $5 one, um, assuming that they sell at the same rate. So um, just because of that factor, uh, they tend to have more winners. Uh, they tend to have more prizes and they tend to have... Um, bigger uh, payouts like this one pays out a million uh, this one pays out a hundred thousand because if this one also paid a million I would just buy this one <laughs> okay because I'm getting more value for my money all right so a couple things here number one you want to play them as least often as you possibly can so you can play the new games all right if you play them often you're going to end up buying into the older games that already have prizes claimed. So you buy them every other month or every other week or however you want and try to play the newer games. Um, number two, um, you want to either play the higher denomination one, depending on how much you can afford in order to um, win the bigger jackpots. Or you want to get, you want to get close to the highest denomination that you possibly can. Uh, provided the current ca current um, money that you have to spend. So if you only have $10 to spend, just buy one ten dollars scratch off ticket. Because, uh, again, this one has, I believe, like, you have... Uh, it says that how many chances you have of winning. Let's just say, for example, this one, you have 10 chances of winning. There's 10 numbers here that you can scratch. Um, in this one, you have twice as many. Okay, so it doesn't really matter which one you buy. Um, if you're going to win, you're going to win. Um, and this is just a way to increase your chances of winning. All right. And um, a number th another thing is that just because you buy 100 of these doesn't guarantee you're going to win. Uh, this is something I do for fun. This is something I do um, with uh, extra capital. I'm not really... I used to be hooked on this when I was younger, but I realized there's no way to beat it. Um, it's just something that I do here and there. Um, I drop a 20 or 20 or sometimes um, if I don't buy for six, seven months in a row, I might buy $50 worth. But this is something I do um, here and there. Um, I don't really go out to the gas station or whatnot and buy these every day. So um, how did Chris, oh yeah, uh, I was going to also say that how did Chris um, win so many scratch off tickets um, there's two possibilities one he's either not telling the truth and he's only showing you the ones that he won or uh, he collected a bunch of winners and he showed you he didn't really win those prizes I, that I don't know two he played them when the new ones came out and um, he played the higher denomination ones when they first came out or when they first were introduced and uh, he ended up winning because he had higher chances of winning um, because that's how they designed. So those are the two factors. Number one, he was either doing what I'm saying without realizing it, <laughs> okay, or number two, he's simply not telling you the truth. Um, that I don't know. That's for you to judge. Um, I honestly think that he was just getting lucky and playing them at the right time. Um, that's just my opinion. Uh, you can have your own opinion. You could say, oh, your 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 theory is wrong as well. Um, Again, <laughs> that's up to you to decide. Uh, I'm just I'm just providing you the information that I have looked up and I have done research on. Um, it's not something that you could really do research on. Uh, it's just based on probability and luck and um, how which games you play and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I told you um, how I play it. Um, I told you how it kind of works, and whether you play it or not is solely up to you. Alright, thank you for watching.